So jumping into PC flipping with three PCs is not a great idea. So I started my PC flipping journey by doing three at a time, because why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I do such a stupid thing? But it actually worked. So I did admit to my wife that I jumped into it too hard, and you know what I did as penitence? I got nine more cases. But I'm a smart, mature man, so I did what every adult tells you to do after achieving such immediate success. I learned my lesson from this experience, and I got swept up in the emotion and doubled down, and I got more. So here's one of the biggest things that I learned throughout this process. <laughs> okay, I'm being a little dramatic here, but what I mean is looks sell. Honestly, all three of my sales wow. were for kids that just want to play games. They don't care about, wow. you know, the specs and specific FPS. They just want to know, hey, does this wow. run over 100 FPS in Fortnite or Warzone or Minecraft? So really, aesthetics is what is most important as long as it can run basic games just fine. So I got smart. We got some big brain moves coming up, friends, so buckle up because we're about to sell lots of PCs. Because not only am I a better man because I learned from my mistakes from the first go-round, but it's Christmas. Ah, oh, Christmas. A time to focus on family, friends, and the things that really matter. Yeah, if you're a loser, it's all about money and presents and capitalism. I'm telling you, man, people dig deep into their pockets during Christmas. There's something in the air in December. I don't know what it is. Did it make it to your son's basketball game? Bam, PC. Missed your daughter's first piano recital? Bam, PC. Forgot to take your wife out to dinner for your anniversary? Oh. Well, I can't really help you out there, buddy. You kind of you kind of miss up, but bam, PC. Since two out of three of my first sales were to dads buying PCs for their kids for Christmas, I decided I had no time to lose and I had to get going because Christmas was right around the corner. The plan was simple. Fish tanks. No, not those. These. I was going to utilize Ryzen 2600 and 3600 for my CPUs and for the GPUs I was going to do the RX 580, the 1070, the 1660, heck even the 1060, the 6 gigabyte version only obviously, because we're not building spaceships over here. We're just building good looking PCs. So anyway, I opened up eBay and started blasting. I had like 100 tabs open and I would refresh every 5 minutes, sorted by the most recently listed, and I would grab anything that looked good. Ryzen 3600 for less than 60 bucks, yoink! RX 580 for 54 bucks post tax, don't mind if I do. So I had quite the arsenal of parts at my disposal. I knew I had to keep things simple in order to number one, keep costs low and number two, keep my sanity. I knew that if I made all the PCs kind of similar performances to each other, I wouldn't have to keep up with too many different PCs at a time. And if I built PCs that were similar to each other, this would also enable me to take photos of one PC and list it multiple times. So here's my basic template. For the CPU, I would generally use around the Ryzen 5 3600. For the GPU, I would use the RX 580 or something around the performance level of a you know, 1660 or a 1070. For the motherboard, a B40 motherboard, this month I focused on the ASRock B450M AC R2.0 because that was on sale. It was the price was pretty good. The RAM was just any kit I could grab for 16 gigs, DDR4, 3200 megahertz. Storage was one terabyte NVMe. I would sometimes dabble in 512 gigabytes if needed, but I would try to keep it at one terabyte. And the PSU around a 550 watt to 600 watt PSU. Mostly I use the MSI A550BN. And the case, you ready for this? The DIY PC Q3. I picked the Q3 over the Q1 from the previous episode that we utilized a lot because the Q3 has a standard MATX motherboard slot. And this month I was buying a lot of ASRock B450M ACR 2.0s because they were really good sale and they're currently still okay priced, but we'll get to that in the future episode. All my fish stand cases came in at the same time and my wife almost killed me when we pulled into the house with all of those under the carport. All right, so here's every single PC that I built and sold this month. Let's go out to the field. Welcome to the field. So the first PC, this was the first entry level PC that I built with a Ryzen 3600 and RX 580. A nice young man inquired about it. And you know what he asked? How much FPS does this get in Fortnite? And the only other comment he made, that'll look real good. I'm telling you, Fortnite and good looks is all a PC needs these days. Cost for that was $364.15. The sales price was $560. And the net profit was $195.85. Now the second PC, this was my first Ryzen 2600 and 1060 six gigabyte built. Got a beautiful white GPU from Jawa, which was my first purchase from Jawa actually. I've shopped there ever since because I had a great, great experience. This video is not sponsored by Jawa, but I'm here Jawa, slide in my DMs. This thing looked beautiful. This was the first like all white PC that I actually made. Not, not everything was white, but it was mostly. And a dad wrote me about it pretty quickly and I sold it within a week. He said he wanted it for his kid for Christmas. What a shocker. The cost was $372.04. Sale price was $570. 
and the net profit was $197.96. Quick story time. You know how sometimes you look at the number six and you think it's a five? Yeah, no, me neither. So I saw someone selling a Ryzen 3600 locally for 50 bucks and I thought I gotta jump on that real quick. So I go to meet the kid who's selling it. He pulls up, shake his hand, he gives me the CPU and... It's a Ryzen 3500. I was already there, so I bought it anyway, but he said he, he just couldn't find the 3600 for some reason. And But he was sure that he had it, which it, it worked out because it, about a month later he wrote me and he said, hey, I found it. He gave me the same price, which was nice of him. All right. Azaleas. There's a bee going around, so I'm doing anything for the shot. So I'm, I'm going to get this one out real quick. So the third PC was a Ryzen 3600 with a 1070. Wait, what is what is that? Is that a non-fish tank case? Heresy! But I thought you were done with non-fish tank cases. Okay, let me explain. This is a case by Metallic Gear, which is a sub-brand of Fantex, and obviously we all love Fantex. They create really good, good budget, good solid builds. And the final cost of this case was $34.79 after a mail-in rebate. So hard to pass up. I also have to give, give a shout out to the Metallic Gear or the Fantex team because they mailed me a check within seven days of me sending in the mail-in rebate, which if you've ever done one of these rebates, they're usually a prepaid card and it takes like two months to come. So huge shout out to those guys over there. So anyway, I listed this PC during the first week of December and it sold within a, about a week to a nice young man that had just started getting into PC gaming. Got a cheap LED light that I added around the corner to give it a nice vibe. And I, honestly, I really, I really like this case especially for the price. It was incredible build quality. I'll have to make a review on it sometime. Cost of this build was $377.60. Sale price was $530 and the net profit was $152.04. And we're back to fish tank cases. So the fourth PC was a Ryzen 3600 paired with an RX 580 Red Devil version. Look at how clean that build looks. Put this all on the ASRock B450 MAC R2.0 again. A one terabyte NVMe slapped on a 600 watt PSU and it sold within a week. Cost, $391.66. Sale price, $590, and net profit was $198.34. Now, last but not least, this one's a special one. Do you guys remember that dad that I sold the Frankenstein PC who said he'd commissioned me to do another one for his other son? Well, I asked him what his son plays, and he said all his son literally plays is just Minecraft and Roblox. And he was asking that I keep this one slightly cheaper than the other one, because the last one he bought was $700. So I said, let's go ahead and build you a Ryzen 2600 with a 1060. Doesn't need anything more than that. The case, fish tank. So the cost of this one was $365.58. Sale price, $530. Net profit, $198.34. I'm done with the content I'm shooting out here, but my wife really likes the, the shot. So enjoy this for a couple more seconds. Let's go back inside and finish the video. Total of $958.97 of profit across five PCs. Now I want to start talking about something that I will point out a lot as we go throughout these episodes and in many of my other videos. Of course, my buyers could have built these PCs for cheaper if they built it themselves, but that's not the point. A lot of these people that are buying for me are not interested in building it for themselves. A lot of the parents that are buying it for their kids, all they're looking for is a PC that costs less than, you know, six, seven hundred dollars that will actually work and is capable of running, you know, 1080p games, just the normal entry games that their kids want while looking really, really good. Because my competition isn't people that are building it for themselves. My competition is the pre-built PCs that people are spending hundreds, if not over a thousand bucks on Amazon that are horrible specs. On one of the next episodes, I'll show you a family that commissioned me to build their son a 3600 with a 5700 XT PC that had bought their son a PC off Amazon for $800, and it had a Ryzen 4500 paired with a 550 four gigabytes for $800. So that's my target clientele, so that it's a win-win for both of us. The other point to make here is taxes. If you're just running this as a side gig, and if you're making in the hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, you're running it most likely as a sole proprietorship, and you're just paying you know, a third of it in income taxes. So in the month of December, for me, that would equal to $316.46 gone just in just in taxes, leaving me with 642 Ooh. bucks. Now, money is money, obviously. Yes, That's still a good yes, amount sir. of money. But you need to think about the amount of time and effort that you're putting into these. You know, if you're spending 10, 15, 20 hours per build, and if it equals out to you're getting five, 10 bucks per hour, you're not really doing this for money. It's just more of a hobby. So start thinking about those things. Now, if this creates a lot of questions for you, what do all these taxes, what does sole proprietor mean? We'll talk about those in another video because a lot of PC flippers don't really talk about what do you do when you make this money in the legal side of things. And I want to make sure that you guys are staying on the legal side of the law. Oh. As I closed out the year with eight PCs sold, I was excited for what was to come. And I'll give you guys a little teaser, commissions. I had finally been discovered. So tune in next time to see how this happened. Thanks for watching. Boom, chicka, 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 bo